Hey lovelies, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. Today's video is a pretty interesting one, as you can see by the title, I did a full makeup transformation on myself, and if you want to know how I achieved this look, then please keep on watching. So first to start off with cleansing the face it is important to clean your face before you apply any products on your face and as you can see i'm just using a fan to speed up the process i equally moisturized my face i also primed my face but i primed just my t-zone and now <laughs> the skin is ready you guys peep that skin i was just feeling myself i couldn't wait to get into beating this face i used a lip balm because i wanted to moisturize my lips then i went in with my foundation and i'm using two different foundation from maybelline and l'oreal you guys i love mixing foundation it just gives me the perfect the perfect shade that i want so right now i'm spraying my face and i'm taking my time to blend this foundation evenly please take your time the key to achieving a smooth and finished look is blending so please take your time when you are blending i also went in with my kiss beauty spray and now i am blending with my beauty blender and this is the final step for blending so you blend 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 keep blending so i moved over to concealer and as you can see i am applying concealer on the places that i want to conceal my inner eyes under my eyes my forehead As you can see i am blending at this point like i said blend 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 i'm blend <laughs> just keep blending as you can see i started with the down part then i moved to the top part i took my time while blending that i moved over to my nose and now i'm blending my under eyes i love blending my under eyes last because it won't crease and immediately i was done with this i went in to set my face with my rcma setting powder so now I'm just setting the areas that I already concealed, which is my under eye, my forehead, and my chin. So now I'm just concealing my under eyes and my forehead, like I said, areas I already concealed. I just went on and on. You can take your time while doing this as well. So now we're moving over to contour. I decided to do a powder-based contour. So I'm just using my powder palette to contour my, my face. And now we we'll moved over to blush. You guys, I'm using my eyeshadow for my blush, the orange shade. And you just keep blending, blending, blending. So now I moved over to contouring my nose. As you guys can see, look at that nose. Oh, snatched! <laughs> please take your time while doing this please take your time and now i'm just baking slightly baking i'm just giving my contour a perfect shape i also went to do a reverse contour on my cheek as you guys can see So now we're moving over to brows and this is the most exciting part. I'm using this brow gel from Higa and Esther and as you can see, I am taking my time. Please take your time. Maybe in my next tutorial, I'll draw my brows using the Davis pencil, which we're very familiar with. However, for this particular video, I use the brow gel and please take your time so that you can get the shape right. As you can see, I am taking my time. So please take your time. So when I was done with this, I went in with my Davis pencil to fill the inner corners of my brows. The 
look at that brows though look at that brows though i actually love how this brows turned out and now i'm just setting my under eyes where i concealed and i moved over to eyeshadow you guys at this point i don't know i think the light went off or something so i didn't show you guys the product i was using so yeah i'm just using my powder palette and i'm starting off with my crease and when i was done with that i went in with a dark brown shade just to transition it and as you can see i focused more on the outer corner and i slightly dragged it in i went in with this dark shade just to smoke it out a little bit because i intend to do a glittery look so i just went in with this gold shade over here it's like a shimmer shade just to set my eyes before i go in with my glitter This can be applied however you want it if you want more glitters then feel free to add more i wanted to go for something light hence why i didn't use too much glitters as you can see So I'm smoking my waterline and I'm using the same shade I use for my eyes. That's the dark brown shade. As you can see, I just went over and over with it till I was okay with how it turned out. So if you want yours darker than this, please feel free to go in. And at this point, I'm just dusting off the excess powder I have on my face. And can you guys see how beautiful I look with these lashes? This is a mismetic lashes and I love it so much. It transformed this look from zero, no, from 10 <laughs> to 100. So right now, I'm applying more contour because I already lost a little bit of it. I also applied more blush and I sprayed my face so that we can get all the powder and everything together and i went in with my fan to dry my face of course it makes the work faster you guys so if you can get a fan please do so now i'm just applying my highlighter and just look at that glow look at that glow <laughs> So I'm using the Higa and Esther highlighter and I love this shade so much. When I was done highlighting my face, I wanted more highlights. So I went in with the New Band Beauty Glow to, you know, further intensify this glow. So now it's lippy time. I love doing my lips, you guys. This is one of the favorite things about makeup for me. And now I'm just trying to get the shape that I want for my lips. You guys, please take your time. When I started makeup, this was the most difficult thing for me to do. So please take your time if you want to, you know, outline your lips. And if you want to overline your lips, please just take your time. At this point, my lips is coming together. I love how it looks and I decided to add gloss, you guys. If you know me, you know that I'm a glossy girl. <laughs> I love gloss so much. So I just added gloss to the look and it just came together. So now I'm smoking my under lash because it changes the entire look. Trust me, if you used to skip this process, I beg you, try and do it. It changes the entire look. And just look at this pretty girl. I was just feeling myself. I loved how this look turned out. You guys, hold up, hold up. Wait for that transformation. Wait for the transformation. Come on, look at this girl. <laughs> You guys, I had so much fun filming this video. This look, this particular look is everything. Comment down below and tell me what you guys think about this look. I love it so much. So we've come to the end of today's video. I loved and enjoyed the entire process creating this look for you guys. Comment down below what you guys think about this look. Would you be recreating this look? Let me know in the comment section. Till next time, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you like videos like this, comment down below so that I can create more videos for you. Bye, guys.